bus. I was down on 7th. They said you moved right up here. That's right. She had a cardiac incident, but it's under control. She's doing well. Was Sean with her? I'm supposed to meet him here. I haven't seen him around. Well, that's strange. He said he'd meet me here. Put the vial down. I meant what I said. I'll smash this on the floor and everyone in this room will die. Then we're at one hell of an impasse, aren't we? Barrett? No, we're not, pal. I'm calling the shots now. Now put no, that... You sit out! Stay away from him! He's telling the truth. The liquid in that vial is deadly. It could kill everyone in this room. In fact, it may be potent enough to get rid of everyone in Port Charles. Sean's got to show up sooner or later. You don't have to wait around or anything. No, no it's all right. I have to be here for a while to monitor Greta. I've been thinking about you and Sean and me. What do we have to do to keep in contact with Robin? I don't want to lose touch with our goddaughter. No, I've been thinking about that also. I don't know what to think about it, though. I mean, is Anna's move permanent? I don't know what Anna plans to do. She put up a brave front when she left. Uh, she, uh, well, you know her. She's strength personified. Well, I hope she calls if she needs help, that's all. Just hope she doesn't wait too long to be in touch. Well, telepathy isn't my strong suit. All I know is that I'm gonna miss her. Imagine how Duke must feel. Yeah, have you seen him since she left? I, yeah, I was talking to him earlier in the cafeteria. We started to talk about him and Anna, but then I had to leave to help with Greta. <laughs> this guy's got so much pride. Just like Anna. They are more alike than either of them would care to admit. They, I, it's a shame it didn't work out for them. They are perfect for each other. Well, knowing how you feel about Anna, that's rather magnanimous. Prisco, I'm a realist. There comes a time when you really care for someone that you have to learn to face rejection, no matter how painful it is. I want Anna to be happy. I have to check on Greta. Are you going to hang in for a while? Yeah, for a while. I can't figure out what the hell happened to Sean. Maybe I'll call over at HCI, maybe over there. Is it something urgent? I was supposed to pick somebody up at a PCU. I didn't find him. Everyone just do as he says, please. Please. All right, come on. Do. Don't be a hero. Well. All right, Barrett. One, for the moment. Sit over there. Come on, move. That's right, you keep your hands on the table. You sit down. You keep your hands on the table. And you leave them there. You too, hands on the table. I don't want anyone to breathe. Nobody breathes. What does he want? I don't know. Oh. Sorry, we're late. See, the meeting started yet? Sit down. So the elevator goes. I said sit down. Who the hell are you? Shut up. Do as I say. You tell him, Donnelly. Alan. Just do as he says. What is this, a joke? No joke, it's deadly serious. What's going on? I, I think of there's... Think Anybody gives me any trouble, I smash this vial. You know the rest, you tell them. Alan, please, sit down. Alan. Hands on top of the table. Now! Who is he? Sean is the only one who seems to know. Well, I'm not sure, but based on some of the things that Frisco's told me, I get the feeling he's involved with the, with the attack on Greta Engstrom. Did Frisco tell you anything specific? No, all I know is working with... Sean Sh and Frisco are working together. That's all I know, and it has something to do with espionage. Espionage? Yes. Is that the reason for Greta's tight security? I complied with Sean's request. He was acting on behalf of the 
WSB. Aside from that, I'm totally in the dark. I'll bet anything the man's DVX. Did you hear that? We heard. Huh? We may not get out of here. Just calm down, Amy. I'm scared. Oh, she might be hearing us. All right, now listen to me. I don't want to hurt anybody, and nobody will get hurt. As long as you just continue to cooperate. I'm not leaving here for a while, neither is anyone else. You, go lock the door. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. You want your buddy to get a whiff of this? Why don't you stand up and move? Good. Now lock the doors and the windows and put that elevator out of commission. How would you like me to do that? Use a damn chair. Move it! meeting you're having here. You. Staff meeting. You the head honcho? That's right. Give me the keys. You have the master key, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Give it to me. Shut up. How long do you think he can hold out? Don't know when I walk out of here. You step one foot out that door and the WSB will be waiting for you with open arms. And I'll take a couple hostages with me. Perhaps I'll even ask for a limo to escort me. You're acting like a fool. WSB and I will follow you wherever you go. You're living on borrowed time. So are you, pal. Now, if you care about these people, you'll shut up. I think you should listen to me. Shut up. You listen to me. You're WSB. You're concerned about these people. I'm DVX. I couldn't give a damn. Uh, 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 you popped that violent uh, suicide. Uh, uh, Very astute. At the end of this discussion now. Put your hands on the table. 